Marge dropped off her beloved cat Garfield to the vet 19 months ago. But he did a runner. What followed was Garfield's great adventure. He's now back home, a little worse for wear. There's no place like home. Just ask Garfield. He's just returned from an unbelievable adventure. He's well travelled. <laughs> He'd have a Central Coast passport. In fact, up until recently, his loving owner, Marg, actually thought he was dead. But you've got him back now, the I silly know. bugger. I know. You've got him back now. Yes, this cat came back. Just not the next day. 19 months of adventure. 19 months, Garfield? Where have you been? Missing for 19 months. So you can forgive a formerly housebound Garfield, now 15 years old, for feeling, well, a little ginger. He's in the wars, Mark. He is. <laughs> He's certainly in the wars. And that's where this story really begins. 19 months ago, Garfield took sick, so Marg raced him to the local vet at Blackwall on the New South Wales central coast. We dropped him off there. He was in their care. A couple of days later, we got a call from them saying he was gone. Gone? Gone. So we just immediately thought, yep, he's passed away, but no. Somebody left the door open and he got out and he just ran. Off into the bush, never seen again. The Facebook post, the Instagram post, the posters on the telegraph poles, he just vanished. They kind of uh, put it off a little, and I, I understand it would have been hard for them to ring and say, hey, Marg, you know... We've lost your cat. We've lost your cat. Um, at that stage of life, he was 13, and he wasn't well when he got away. And in this house, don't call Garfield a pet, he's part of the family. Garfield was born in this house, part of a litter of five. Out of the whole litter, we chose him to stay. Yeah, good boy. The thought of never seeing him again still raw. I can tell you love him. Yep. You must have been devastated when you lost him. And the tears were certainly flowing when the family got a phone call to say he'd been found. We just cried, like, and... You probably didn't believe it. No, we didn't, because... It's a long know, time, Mark. 19 months, yeah. 19 months alone. Garfield's no feral, so he wasn't in good shape. We went to visit and sat in the ICU with him, so, yeah, it is emotional. Two weeks later, Garfield made it back home. He returned with a long list of ailments and a huge vet bill. We know vets aren't cheap. How much have you spent? I've probably spent over $15,000. 15000 Yep. And, wow. And it will be ongoing, but he's a family member, so it is what it is. So Marg took that bill to the original vet, which she says lost Garfield, and she wants them to pay it. They need to take some sort of responsibility for him getting away. I'm happy to pay all of his ongoing care, his diabetes and everything like that, his insulin. Seems fair, or so Marg thought. The vet clinic has since been sold, the new owners aren't responsible, but the old owner, Pete Howe, still works there and he's hired a lawyer. They lost the cat, they should pay, shouldn't they? Yeah, they should. Are you prepared to go to court over this? I am. Let's go. But Marg hopes it doesn't descend into a cat fight. She and Garfield have been through enough. <coughs> now it's time to catch up with old friends. And of course, Good boy. family. Good boy. Do you think Garfield will ever go wandering again? No, I don't think so. The vet Peter Howe described Garfield as too unruly and aggressive to manage. Marg is still waiting for an apology.